You will be losing out on sales and conversions if you are targeting the wrong people at the wrong time. That's why it's important to execute an SEO content marketing plan to attract the right audience. Now let me show you how to build one. So to attract the right people at the right time, we need to understand the three general uh, stages of the buyer's journey. So at the beginning of their journey would be the awareness stage. So at this stage, this is where they have realized and expressed symptoms of a potential problem or opportunity. Now in terms of the content, these are the various content types that you can produce to target people in the awareness stage. You can create things like ebooks, how-to guides, infographics, checklists, and blog posts. Now, after they consume this content, do research online, they then move to the consideration stage. They're getting a little bit more hot, right? So during the consideration stage, this is where they have clearly defined and given a name to their problem or opportunity, and they're looking for a solution. So in terms of the types of content you can offer people in the consideration stage, you can um, take them to a landing page, give them a how-to guide, show them before and after content, even produce some videos, and also send them to blog posts. So after they do additional research and consume this information, then they become more educated and they become a hot buyer, right? So they are in the decision stage. So now they are ready to take action. So they have defined their solution, strategy, method, or approach to their potential problem or opportunity. So these are more specific content types. So these would be more beneficial for people in the, in the decision stage. So you can offer them uh, maybe customer testimonials, you know, interview your previous uh, customers, show them success stories, offer them case studies, and also generate some blog posts for them as well. Now, any of these pieces of content, really, if you think about it, can be offered to any stage of the buyer's journey, but I included these pieces of content just to give you an idea, okay? So after we understand the three general stages of the buyer's journey, then we need to figure out, okay, what topics we should be creating content around. So that's where we need to do some keyword research. So to do keyword research, we will be using Keywords Everywhere. This is a browser add-on for Chrome, Firefox, and Edge. So once you install this browser add-on, do a simple keyword search. Let's just say we have an e-commerce website and it's all about vegetable gardens, vegetable gardening. So I searched for vegetable garden and on the right hand side, I'm going to click on this button from Keywords Everywhere. It's the find long tail keywords for vegetable garden button. Now, when I click on this button, Keywords Everywhere will provide me with this report. It found over 1000 long tail keywords for my seed keyword of vegetable garden. So what you wanna do now is review this list of your long tail keywords. You can also check out the average monthly search volume as well. I would probably try to focus on the long tail keywords that have a good amount of search volume. Now for our vegetable garden e-commerce site, let's take a look at what types of keywords we can potentially target for our audience. Maybe vegetable garden layout could be a good one. We can possibly educate people about the various layouts they can have in their backyard. Maybe vegetable garden ideas. This has an average monthly search volume of 5,400 a month. And let's see here as we continue to scroll down. Let's see, so uh, best vegetable garden fertilizer. That one stands out because it has the best keyword modifier. It has a good amount of search volume as well. So I'm gonna star that. Now when you star your keywords, they will be listed in your favorite keywords list. So you have a short list here that you could use to create your SEO content marketing plan. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my Excel spreadsheet, then go to my content plan, and this is how it should look like, okay? So for this content plan, you have a column for the date on when you plan on publishing your piece of content. You have a column for the stage, so either awareness, consideration, or decision. Then you need to add your target keywords here, 
and for each of your target keywords, you need to generate a title. Now this could be a blog title or a title for the piece of content you plan on creating. It could be an ebook, a how-to guide, so on and so forth. Now if you want, you can also add a column for the average monthly search volume if you want, just so you can more easily uh, skim. So I'm gonna type in search volume here and then add the search volumes for each of these target keywords. Okay, here we go. So we have the average monthly search volumes for each of our target keywords, just to give us some more data as we are reviewing this content plan. So for this keyword, vegetable garden ideas, I tagged it as the awareness stage. So people in this stage might just want to learn more about the various vegetable gardens. You can have maybe in your backyard, it has a good amount of search volume, and the title I gave it was 10 Creative Vegetable Garden Ideas to Inspire Your Green Thumb. And in terms of the content type, I put blog post. Now for this second one, Vegetable Garden Layout, this one I flagged as the consideration stage. So they know what vegetable gardens are and they know about uh, layouts, but they want to learn more about the various kinds of layouts possibly, right? So in terms of the title, I have Choosing the Right Vegetable Garden Layout tips and tricks for beginners. And in terms of the content type, we could possibly create a how-to guide. So maybe they can download it, it could be a PDF, and then we can email it to them. So they'll have a guide on how to choose the right vegetable garden layout. And then for our very hot customers who are ready to buy in the decision stage, we have best vegetable garden fertilizer. So we can safely assume they already have a vegetable garden. They already know about fertilizers. Now they want to know what is the best one. So for the title, I put the best vegetable garden fertilizers, a complete guide for optimal growth. And we can possibly create a blog post for this target keyword. So this is how you would create an SEO content marketing plan for your business and website. Now you can target the right people at the right time for your blog articles and all types of content that you create online. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, let us know by smashing that like button and also subscribing to our channel. And if you wanna check out some other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. Thanks.